For starters, let's make dough. We'll need oil, eggs, and flour. You have to sift through flour so it is filled with air and becomes fluffier. Then crack in eggs. Add salt, olive oil, and knead. In the end, the dough doesn't have to stick to your hands. Let it sit for 20 minutes. Meanwhile, we'll be cooking a mushroom sauce. I'll need portobello mushrooms and onions. Peel onions and cut them in half circles. Then chop mushrooms. Mix the onions, mushrooms, and olive oil in a large saucepan. Stew and stir it from time to time. Now I put everything in a blender and add cream. Process to get an even consistency. The dough is ready. Now it'll be easier to divide it in even parts and roll it out. I make 16 parts. While I was rolling it, I figured out it's not gonna be enough, so I cooked another patch. This way, I got 24 identical pieces. Press one piece with your hand and roll out with a rolling pin. Roll the dough. The sheets has to be around 1 16th of an inch thick. Even out the edges and move on to the next one. Do the same with every sheet. Leave the ready sheets to dry. For the meat filling, we need tomatoes, onions, ground beef, more beef, and some more beef, and a bottle of dry red wine. Make a cross cut on a tomato and dip it in boiling water for 15 seconds. Then dip it in cold water and you can easily remove the peel. Blanch all tomatoes this way. Pour oil in a heated pan. Put in onions. Fry it till it becomes clear. Pour in one. Let it evaporate a bit. Then put in meat. Add paprika, basil, salt, and mix. Stew the meat for 10 minutes. Then add diced tomatoes and stew for five more minutes. 
Put the meat to the side for some time. And let's take care of another sauce, bechamel. To cook it, we need flour, milk, and butter. The exact amount of the ingredients for this recipe is down in the description below. You can thank me for it by hitting the thumbs up. Let's go back to the sauce. Melt butter. Add flour to it. Some salt and stir it all the time. Then pour in milk and keep stirring it till it starts boiling. Take it off the stove. Cut cheese in smaller pieces for convenience and grate it. I have two kinds of cheese to make the flavor richer. Mix it. Now I have everything ready for assembly. I pick out the nicest sheets. They'll be on top. The ones that don't look that pretty will be in the middle. We can start assembling. Place a sheet of dough on a baking tray covered with parchment paper. Pour bechamel sauce on it. Then comes the meat filling. Then some purple basil. and cheese. A sheet of dough again. I put mushroom sauce on it. Ricotta cheese. Green basil. The third layer is a sheet of dough. Bechamel sauce, meat filling, and purple basil. Cover it with the fourth layer of dough and bechamel sauce and sprinkle it with a thick layer of cheese on top to get a golden crunchy crust. Bake in an oven for 20 minutes at 480 degrees. I think lasagna will be looking great on this wooden table. We made six trays like this in general. It took me two and a half hours. Assemble the dish from the parts. I'm gonna need some help here. A maxi size of Garfield lasagna is done. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and leave your comments. See you soon.